this is a quick guide on how to get most of the quality of life mods available right now to work with one another except for the upscaler as that is currently not supported by the script extender so no DLSS for now so this is my instance how it is now let's load a new one just created so the first step will be to get the script extender Redownload now. And that should automatically download into here. So then you're going to need 7-zip installed on your computer for this. So if you then reveal this in Explorer, and then use 7-zip to open this, double-click this to open this, delete this folder, because you don't need the source folder. And then if you right-click install as normal, assuming you have the plugin root builder enabled, should be able to just click create directory here, type root, and then if you don't need these text files, and anything that needs to go in the base directory of the game, you just put in there. Don't need any of that. So these need to go in the base, base directory of the game, which normally you can't do, but with the root builder add-on, you can with this root plugin just ignore this message, you'll be fine. Make sure rebuild is on, and it's on copy mode, yep. And that's done. So now that you have installed the script extender, you need to add it as an instance. So you can right click here, open an explorer, double click this, and that will give you the path to where Starfield script extender is. So then you're just going to copy this, click where it says Starfield, click edit. And then you want to add, and then add to the file, paste that here, press enter, click this, click open, apply, and then OK. And then you just change this to the script extender loader, and then every time you launch the game, it'll be with the script extender loader. Then, probably going to want the achievement enabler. So let me just grab that quickly. Install on this, click manual, and then yeah, that just uses the data folder as normal, so that's fine. Just click OK. Also, always make sure the script extender is at the bottom of your mod list, so it will always load first and be given the highest priority. You get both of those, they're like the base ones. Make sure they're ticked and enabled. And there is a couple other things I will show quickly, which is the, uh, what's it called, star UI, and the no delay menus, which you can use together, and you can use them both through Mod Manager, but you have to do a bit of a workaround to get it to work. So first I'll quickly download both.
Okay, so now I've got both of those. So I'll just go ahead and install those quickly. Do that. That should be there. Click command. So this one on. This one has a nice little menu, so it's easy to do. Mod Organizer 2, 60 FPS, next. Install. And then both of these do have conflict with one another, but instructions for Star UI says to load underlaid menus first. However, the way that the Mod Organizer will copy these files into one another makes it so only one of these mods will work. So instead of enabling these, you're just going to keep them there, so you have them there for knowing when there's a new version, but you're going to disable both. And then you're going to open Explorer. And you're going to create empty mod in here, which I'll just call Menus Star UI, because I know it's combining both of them. Put that above both. Right click this, open explorer, and then in here you're going to want to grab the underlaid menus first. Just copy this into the base folder in here, and then copy the star UI one afterwards. Just click replace these files. They're both in this new mod that you've created. And then you want to enable this one. You can always make sure this is at the bottom of both of these. And then you're going to right click this new mod you've created, information, INI files, and then you click open this one in Explorer. It's easy to do a notepad. Edit this, control F, type in instant, and then just down here where it says instant close animation, just change that zero to a one, which will enable it, and then you will have both the star UI and the underlaid menus mod working together just fine. I believe this covers the most common issues people have with installer mods right now. There might be a couple of things with batch files I might be able to help with, but if you didn't see anything you need help with here, then please do reach out and I will do my best to help. And just to show this works, I will run this quickly. If you haven't already set your INI, &I, make sure that you enable automatic archive and validation on here, which will make the INI &I for you. I don't know why it's not on by default, because I just made a new instance. It's not on, on this instance when it was on my original. Right. That's now enabled. Let's try that again. All this trouble for Never mind what speak of the devil. Okay, there we go, and I have finally got access to the menu, so you can see the menu model is working. And the fact that it loads so much quicker, so the delayed menu is working, and if I hold tab, there we go, see so all of that is working. Sorry that took so long, and uh, any further questions about anything, feel free to ask.